Hey guys, so welcome to, I think my first reading vlog in the new place. I did film a little bit of my Caritathon vlog here and I have filmed two Patreon reading vlogs, but this is basically my first reading vlog on my YouTube channel in the new place. <laughs> so I think this video is going up before my reorganizing my bookshelves video is going up. So that video will be coming after this if it's not already up. <laughs> but yeah, so I have already set my bookshelves up and I'm just so obsessed. But anyway, so yes, that video is coming soon, but I wanted to start a reading vlog. I'm not sure how many days it's going to be, but we'll just see how it is. I really missed filming reading vlogs and I really want to get back into reading a lot because my physical reading has definitely gone downhill <laughs> over the past few months. I definitely don't spend time sitting down and physically reading a lot because I've just been so busy but I'm definitely starting to get more into a routine. Obviously there are still a lot of house things to do but you know we have the basics down so I definitely have more time to relax and read and stuff so yeah I'm really excited about this vlog especially because the book that I'm currently reading is The Invisible Life of Annie LaRue by V.E. Schwab and I don't read ebooks often but I got this e-arc and I was so excited for this book so I was like okay I'm gonna do it and reading ebooks still is my favorite thing I just love the feeling of taking a break from a screen and looking at a page you know but I do like it every now and then but I've been reading this book for months and the reason it's taking so long for me to read it is definitely the fact that it is an ebook as well as the fact that I've been so busy but I'm really determined to try to finish this book in this vlog. I just passed the 50% mark so I think I'm like 53% into the book or something like that but oh it's just so good and like literally at the 50% mark there was a plot twist and I was like it's just so good. It's definitely not going to be for everyone because it's very like slow and atmospheric but it's exactly my vibe. Like I love just being sucked into a world and having it really slow paced but not boring. Well I personally don't find it boring like I am loving it. <laughs> it definitely is giving me the five star feels like it's just so beautiful and Victoria Schwab's writing is so Stunning. She obviously always has amazing writing, but I feel like this book is like the peak of her writing style. Like it's top tier. So I'm loving it and I really want to finish it. So yeah, I'm definitely going to prioritize that. That being said, I think I do just need to read something physically and then get back into adding the roof. So I think I'm going to pick up Happiness Volume 1. I just hauled this in my book haul. And this is a horror manga and I actually didn't know what it was about, but then someone commented saying it's like sort of vampire-y. So... I'm really excited. I don't think it's vampires, but it's like similar to vampires. And if you know me, <laughs> you know I love vampires. So yes, exciting. I'm not listening to an audiobook currently. I was listening to If I Had Your Face by Frances Char, but I realized that I want to physically read that book. So I'm going to pick that up again later on. But I'm not really in the mood to listen to an audiobook, to be honest. So I'm probably not going to listen to an audiobook in this vlog. So hopefully I'll be finishing Happiness Volume 1 and The Invisible Life of Annie LaRue. So yes, exciting times. <laughs> but I do have an alcate box to unbox so this is the july box and let's just get into it so i am an alcate rep if you don't know and you can use the code chloe to get 10 percent off your first box oh my gosh okay so there's gonna be a mug in here from karakosik now it is inspired by a series that i don't even want to say anymore but we can still admire its beauty i think this is going to be stunning like i just love their ceramic mugs so much and karakosik is so talented oh my god I haven't even looked at the theme card. Okay, so this is the theme card and the theme for July is Date with Destiny. This is so cute. So this is the design. So, so cool. And actually, I believe this is the last item that is going to be inspired by the series in an upgrade box, which I think is a really good decision. So love them for that. But there's no doubt that this mug is stunning. Oh, okay. So we've got some paper clips. So it says, hope is the only thing stronger than fear. So it's like an arrow, which is really cool. And, you know, I love office items, stationery items. So this is obviously super useful. Oh my gosh, an apron. Oh my God, look at this stunning bag. Of course, I'm going to keep this. This is literally so stunning. Okay, so it says Fox Way. So I believe this is going to be inspired by the Raven Boys. So it says Pancakes and Predications, 300 Fox Way Diner, Henrietta. Fate is a very weighty word to throw around before breakfast. Okay, I love this apron and I love the quality too. It also has some pockets, which is really nice. Oh yes, we got some tea. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it says Simon Sour Cherry Scones Tea. Not gonna lie, this doesn't sound like it would be good, but let me just smell it. Hmm, I think it's definitely going to be an acquired taste. 
Okay, so now we've got a wooden bookmark and it's double-sided, so this is the first side and then the other side looks like this. I swear that's Star Wars, which maybe it is. Okay, yeah, it is inspired by Star Wars. I'm not really into Star Wars, like I just don't care. Like I tried to watch 20 minutes of one of the movies once and I just couldn't get into it, but I like this side a lot. Like that's really stunning. Oh, and the paper clips, I didn't even really read the card. So the paper clips are inspired by The Hunger Games and the tea blend is inspired by Simon Snow's favorite breakfast in carry on okay so now we've just got the book and the pin so the pin looks like this it says decide your fate and i actually think i do want to put like a pin thing here anyway i have heaps of cool pins to display and now the book okay so this is the book and it's not coming in plastic this time and i hope our crate continue to do that because i just feel like putting it in plastic is like unnecessary and not great for the environment but this is the book goddess in the machine and this is by laura beth johnson i actually have never heard of this book but this cover is stunning and look at those gold sprayed edges. This is what it looks like under the cover and it is signed by the author too. So in this book Andra wakes up from a cryogenic sleep 1000 years later than she was supposed to, forcing her to team up with an exiled prince to navigate an unfamiliar planet. So I think I'm going to look up reviews before I decide if I'm going to read it because planet sci-fi is not always my favorite thing. Like I'm really picky when it comes to sci-fi. So it does sound kind of interesting but I'm also just not sure if it's 100% going to be for me but we'll see. And it also also comes with a note from the author and this is our crates monthly booklet so I'll put the regular edition up here and this is the our crate exclusive edition so it's just more bright and the theme for August is written in the stars so I think it's definitely going to be my vibe and every August box will include a book sleeve designed by the quirky cup collective my book sleeve collection is honestly getting so out of hand like I have so many book sleeves so I actually think I'm gonna give away some but Anyway, that is the Alcrate box. Thank you so much to Alcrate for sending it to me. And now I'm going to take off my makeup because I'm so over this makeup right now. So yeah, I'm going to take my makeup off and then get cozy and read, which is actually going to be really nice because I feel like not 100% right now, like I have like a headache. So yeah, I'm really excited to just get cozy with a nice horror manga. <laughs> Okay, so something hilarious just happened and I feel like it's not really a spoiler because it happens in like the beginning of the book so I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> but basically the main guy told his mom he needed to go out to return a DVD. Anyway, he nearly gets killed. <laughs> like he's literally bleeding on the ground by himself and then he's like, I gotta return the DVD. <laughs> okay, so I finished Happiness Volume 1. At the end I was definitely like, 
excuse me, <laughs> like I need the next volume. So I really loved it. It's definitely just like a classic vampire story where the main character gets bitten and he's like, what's going on? Why do I suddenly want to drink this person's blood? You know. I just love a good about my story and it's a classic so really really enjoyed this and I definitely want to read volume 2 and continue the series so yeah also this cover is just one of my favorites like but yeah so I'm gonna update my reading journal and this is my first book read in August and I gave this four stars So it's Sunday and I really want to get some fairy lights for my bookshelves so I need to do that but anyway. Yeah so it's Sunday and as you should have seen I just spent the morning like cleaning and stuff and I played a game of Fortnite. It is so much easier to play Fortnite on a computer because I used to play on my Switch. Some other games that I want to get into actually I might as well just talk about it. I want to get into League of Legends. My boyfriend Callan is obsessed with League of Legends and I've always wanted to get into it because it looks really cool. So I think I'm going to try to get into that. And Overwatch, I have Overwatch on my Switch, but it's definitely going to be a million times better on PC, I think, because it's going to be a lot easier. So I'm actually going to spend a lot of the day reading. So I'm going to read The Invisible Life of Annie LaRue, and then later I need to cook dinner. I'm thinking to make japchae for the first time in the new place. If you saw my creator-thon vlog, mom and I made japchae together. So I'm going to probably watch that video to remember how to make it. Yeah, super excited about that. And that's pretty much it. I might film a journal video today, but but maybe I'll just do that tomorrow. But before I continue reading Addie LaRue, I want to talk about the sponsor of the video, Skillshare. So I've talked about Skillshare a lot on my channel. They are amazing. If you don't know, they are an online learning community for curious and creative people. And they have so many different classes on topics, including video editing, photography, animation, illustration, and so much more. Skillshare has been really helpful to me to improve my skills and to learn new ones. For example, digital illustration is one that I've been learning through Skillshare. And I've taken quite a few classes on there, but the one that I'm currently taking is really exciting because it's actually by Vashti Harrison and Vashti Harrison is one of my favorite illustrators. She was actually the one who illustrated Solway by Lupita Nyong'o which is one of my favorite picture books and the art is just incredible. So when I saw that she had a class on Skillshare I was like oh my goodness. So I started taking it and the class is called Illustrating in Procreate Drawing a Shareable Time Lapse and yeah it's really good so far. I'm just so happy that she has a class on there. It's so nice to learn from people who are such experts in their field and Skillshare classes are really good too because they include a combination of a video lesson and a class project. You can see the reviews from the community members and most of their classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons too. So it's just all around just a really good setup. So if you want to try Skillshare out for yourself, I highly recommend you do. Skillshare are giving the first 1,000 people who click the link in my description two free months of the premium membership and premium members get unlimited access to all of their classes. And if you want to continue, it's really affordable being less than $10 a month with the annual subscription. So yes, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video 
and now I'm gonna get cozy with a candle. It's actually like raining right now, so perfect reading weather. Oh my god, this is actually the perfect weather to be reading a book like Addie the Row. That's just kind of like that slow, like you know <laughs> and i've talked about it a bit before but i think that was months ago annie larue has been alive for ages because she did a deal with the devil and she basically gets to live forever but she's cursed because she is forgotten by everyone she meets but yeah so one of my favorite aspects is the fact that because she's been alive for so long we get to see different parts of the world because she's obviously traveled a lot at the moment it's basically just in france and new york i think but you know it'd be cool if we see some other places but anyway so yeah we get to see different parts of the world and we also get to see obviously different times so you know i think it goes back to like 1700s and then you get to present day which is like 2014 i think so yeah i really just love that i love henry too henry is one of the main characters as well and we're starting to learn more about him so yeah this book is just so good so far okay it's actually freezing so i'm sitting on my bean bag in front of the heater because i need the heat scruffy's next to me scruffy Coupo. and i'm gonna start reading I got up to 63% and in the first half of the book we followed the perspective of Addie and then it said part two I think and now we're following the perspective of Henry which is really cool but I'm also like kind of missing Addie's perspective but I still really do love Henry. Anyway so yeah it's still really good. I'm liking that we are getting to know Henry more but I'm gonna start making a job chair now so I've stopped reading and yeah I'm starving so I can't wait to eat. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished doing a live show with Jamie and Caitlin. We did a live show to celebrate Jamie's birthday and it was super fun. We haven't done a live show in so long, so yeah, it was really fun. So I have some things to do today, but I do plan to read some of Addie LaRue. Hopefully I can make some progress. I don't know if I mentioned that I got to like the 60% mark. Hopefully I did mention that. So hopefully I can get to like 70 or 80%. We'll see, because I also have to do some video filming and stuff like that. I also need to paint my nails. As you can see, they are bare at the moment. I'm thinking of doing Dark Matter by Live Love Polish. I got this recently and haven't used it yet, but it's so stunning. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yes, yeah, so I guess I'll just check in when I do some reading. Okay, so I'm obsessed with ice cream mochi. It doesn't usually look like this. <laughs> I flattened it so much. So this is the one that I got. It's from Coles. It usually comes in this little packet like that. I am obsessed because I saw my Anna try ice cream mochi in her vlog or something. And I was like, okay, I really wanna try it. And then I went to the supermarket to see if it was there. And it was, and it's the best thing. Like it's so good and it's vegan. So it's not actual ice cream, but it's like, it basically tastes exactly like ice cream and it's just so good. 
and it's my new obsession now. Okay, so it's the next day and I really didn't read. I don't think I read anything of Addie LaRue yesterday. Instead of reading, I actually continued watching my K-drama with Callan. If you don't know, I'm currently watching It's Okay to Not Be Okay and <laughs> I literally can't express how much I love this show. I was screaming at episode 13 because something was revealed and I called it. It was so intense. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm just literally so in love with that show, so it's really hard to stop watching it, and it's actually ending soon. I think there are only like a few episodes left, and I don't know if there's gonna be season two. If anyone knows, please let me know because I really hope there is. Like, I love this show, it might be my new favorite K drama, like, it's just so good. And you know, if you do wanna watch it, just please know that it's very heavy, and there are a lot of trigger warnings because it does deal with mental illness, and yeah, it can be really hard to watch, but it's so beautiful, and I think it deals with a lot of important topics, and just family and obviously there's like a romance too and it's just I literally can't explain how much I love it that's what I did instead of reading today I'm gonna try to read a bit but once again Callan has a day off so I feel like I'm gonna want to watch more of that but I will try to read some more today but I definitely don't think I'm gonna finish the book in this vlog because I do plan to end it here like today so yeah hopefully I'll finish the book soon but I don't want to put too much pressure on myself because my heart is telling me to watch the show you know even though I am loving the book but anyway I actually did get sent this book it came in the mail this morning smash it by Francina Simone and I have talked about this because this is one of my most anticipated releases and I actually am friends with Francina so I'm just so happy for her and I'm just so excited about this so this is a contemporary and it is a hip-hop Othello retelling and this book deals with sex positivity body issues shame love and all the regular things that teens deal with so really really excited and thank you so much to HarperCollins for sending it to me so this does come out on the 22nd of September so I'm definitely going to try to read it soon this is definitely going to be one of the next physical books that I pick up so anyway now I'm actually going to film at least one journal video I'm aiming for two but we'll see I'm going to film at least one journal video once again I have a journaling channel if you don't know journal with Chloe so please subscribe if you want to <laughs> so I'm going to do that I think I'm just going to watch like some Disney plus in the background rather than listen to an audiobook because like I said I'm not in an audio book listening mode at the moment but yeah that's what I'm gonna do and then maybe I'll take a break to read for a bit okay so I filmed two journal videos I filmed the June slash July film and tv show wrap up so that should be coming on my journaling channel soon and then I filmed a patreon exclusive journal video because every month I do that on my patreon and if you want to join my patreon it's always linked down below but anyway so now I'm gonna spend some time reading maybe like half an hour to an hour and yeah so hopefully I can get some good progress Okay, earlier I think I said there was like two parts, but definitely not. I got up to part five now, and part five is called The Shadow Who Smiled and The Girl Who Smiled back love that so much and now we're back to Addie's perspective which I'm so happy about okay so I got up to 70% and I'm probably gonna read some more tonight too so hopefully I'll make even more progress I'm still loving it although I think at the moment it's actually gone down to a four star but obviously we'll see how the ending and stuff goes but it was definitely a five star for most of the book and at this point I'm just kind of like okay let's get to it because like I mentioned earlier it is very slow and I was loving for the slowness but it is a big book like I think it's nearly 600 pages Agents, or it's at least 500 so at this point I'm just kind of like <laughs> let's get to it so yeah I don't know I think I'm just losing patience but I'm still enjoying it definitely anyway hopefully it gets really really good and you know maybe we'll go up to a five but yeah at the moment it's dropped to a four but anyway we actually set up our monitors because Callan bought our monitors today. I was gonna wait for the next moving vlog to show you and I will obviously show you in that vlog but like I said that decorating vlog is coming in months probably so I might as well show you now too so. So this is our setup. We've got the two curved screens which is so cool. We have our stunning computer and we got Scruffy. <laughs> Okay, so it's nighttime now and I just spent some time reading more and I was determined to get to 80% but I'm just so tired. So I have to finish now. So I got up to 75% like I said before in my previous update. At this point, I'm kind of just like, okay, let's get to it. So yeah, once again, still enjoying it but I'm ready for it to like start wrapping up, you know what I mean? Scruffy wants to say hello. 
<laughs> me. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. And I'll probably start a new reading vlog soon. And hopefully finish Annie LaRue. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Skillshare if you're interested. The link to get your free trial will be linked in my description. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you're having a good day or night. And I'll see you in my next one. <laughs>